You are watching the Movicon HMI Editor Basics self-guided video tutorial series. In this video, we'll set up communications between a new Movicon project and the MPIEC controller. Much of this is a review from the Quick Start project, but one difference is you'll import the variables from the offline MotionWorks IEC project instead of directly from the controller. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. For this video, I'm assuming you have already completed the previous videos in this series. Let me give a brief overview and introduction. You'll send that project archive to the controller again, just so you get off to a fresh start here. Then you're going to start a new Movicon project, but import the tags from the MotionWorks IEC project that you've also downloaded in the class materials. You've seen the web UI before to send the project archive and we'll have you set those drive parameters to default, just to be sure. When you start that new Movicon project, it'll be again in Windows CE with that same dimension, 800 by 480 for the seven inch smart panel. This time we will have you do a tweak to the polling time of the PLCI driver and set that to 100 milliseconds update interval. When you get to the import tags screen, this part's gonna be a little different instead of getting PLC tags from the controller, we want you to browse for a file as we know that you don't always have the controller uh, at your side when you're going to be working on a Movicon project. But in order for that to work, you uh, do have to go into MotionWorks IEC and right click on the resource to create boot project. You don't choose the boot project, you choose the MotionWorks IEC file, but this boot project has to exist at the time of import to the HMI. When you have the variables, uh, we would like you to uh, shorten the names of those variables by using this uh, replace text in all project resources tool. It's basically find and replace. You'll, you'll find the prefix and replace it with nothing. And uh, that will shorten up the names, make them a lot easier to read so that they don't all start with the prefix global variables like they did before. The reason you can do this is it's not the name that's really all that important for communications over PLCI. Instead, it's the dynamic field property of the variable, as you can see here, is very specific. This concludes my overview and concept introduction. So the rest of this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to get this done. So like before, if you get stuck or just want to be sure you're not doing it wrong, go ahead and play the video. Please open up a mini lab number two called communications, where you see the overview and lab goal. Now is the time to pause this video and see if you can go through this mini lab on your own. And I'll have the solution for you here shortly. Okay, I'm back to show you the solution of the mini lab number two communications to uh, go through these steps. We want to get the controller program operational and the MoveCon project with all those variables inserted. Let's do that project archive install again here. Remember to log in as capital A admin, password capital MP 3300. It's likely that it remembered it for you anyway. And back here to archive again, we'll do a send archive as a clean install. You add the archive. Since you did this recently, it's likely it'll bring you to the right place here. It's that same archive. Just want to be sure that if anything's changed, it's going to be put back here to the way it's supposed to be. So we'll send that archive and install. Now we'll do that reboot. Okay, reboot. I know in person this takes longer than it does on the video. We're back in here after the reboot. I did get some alarms here. Those are the same alarms as before with uh, the due to the parameter set which is next here, drive parameters. We want you to do the write all default PNs, right? And reboot that again here, reboot. You probably won't get this cold start alarm, but if you do, just go to operations, start, and you'll be able to do that pretty easy. I don't have it, so I'm gonna move on here. Actually, I already did this part, set the servo drive parameters to default and reboot, you have those alarms. Next up is to open MotionWorks IEC, and let's see this project here. So go to MotionWorks IEC, and let's open the Smart Panel Basic here in MotionWorks IEC. That's gonna be Open Project. Should shoot you right over there from the previous time. Called Smart Panel Basic, you unzip it. Yes to the same folder. 
Yes to new version, you may not get this. And yes to build settings, okay. We want to take a look now at the global variables. At the bottom here on the left of the project tree, you got global variables. And on this project, I've put the OPC column here, rearranged it a little bit. And you can see that some of these are marked OPC. By the way, others are marked PDD. And what that means is they will appear in the status of the web UI here. And this can help if you need some troubleshooting. You just open the web UI, come to status. Might be a little easier than using MotionWorks IEC if you're not familiar with it. That's what step C was about here, PDD or Process Data Directory. Now we technically don't have to make or download this project. This project is only for reference and later to make the boot file. So let's just move on here to Movicon. Open it and it's really important that you close any open projects. Movicon lets you have several projects open at once and uh, while that can be useful it can also be confusing. So what you can do here is go to File, Close and keep doing that until you see no projects in Movicon at all. Now we'll do File New, and this is just like before in the Quick Start, a good review here, WinCE platform. We're asking you to call the project Training Project 01, Training Project 01, and you can choose a folder if you want to. I'm going to use a folder right here within the Class Materials folder. This part you just click Next until you get to the driver. Remember that driver was Yaskawa MPIEC PLCI. Notice that we do support these other protocols. PLCI CE6 is for an older version of Windows CE. We really don't have any products that use that operating system, but it's there for historical purposes. We also do support Modbus, but that might be important if you are trying to communicate with other devices. Let's go next here. We've got the default screen width of 800 by 480. And if you want to be loyal to Yaskawa, here is our official color scheme. 086-185. You go into default color, uh, ellipsis, custom, 086-185. Of course, you're welcome to use your own company color or any color you want. Okay. Let's see what's next. We'll leave this part of the wizard here at default and finish. Now as before in the quick start we are prompted with the PLCI settings. So that's the same as before. First step was stations. You add the station here, uh, expand there to put in the IP address of whatever you have in the Sikamiya system for the remote demo. And mine is ending in 83. We'll call that the MP3300IEC, like we did before. Okay. Now we can do test cable com. And that succeeded. Again, if it doesn't work, it's perhaps because the controller is not running. And that can be remedied here under the operations. PLC has got to be running in order for that to succeed. Step L here. This is a little bit different. Uh, we haven't even set the polling time. As it says here, most of the variables in this project in MotionWorks IEC are in a task running at 48 milliseconds. So if we set the polling time to 100, uh, that means that every two scans of that PLC task, there will be a possible update of the variables with this polling time. The idea here is you don't want to uh, overload the communications with a polling time that's too low. 100 should be sufficient, so we'll go here to the General tab and set that polling time to 100. Okay. Do we want to import the PLC database now? Yes, I do. And like we show here, you can browse for a file, but you'll get an error. I'll demonstrate that here. We browse file. You can choose this Smart Panel Basic. Open. No image found. Create the boot image. This is just the way it has to work. You'll go into MotionWorks IEC. Like it says here to create that boot project, first step is to build. You can do make or rebuild project. That's done. And then you can right click on the resource to create a boot project. Let's do that here. Create boot project. If you don't make first, this will not appear. So be sure you make first. You don't have to check that box. We'll just click OK here. 
It happens really quick behind the scenes. And now back in Movicon, we can browse for that same file, Smart Panel Basic. And the boot project exists within the folder structure here. That's why you don't really see it here. We'll hit open and instantly you have all of the tags from this project. That's what we're showing here in step D. We'll do select all and import. Okay, select all those variables and import them all. Now you see them in the real time DB under variables, but they all have the global variables prefix and uh, some of them have this three underscores and an R. That means retained in the controller. That's just the controller's shorthand way of auto naming these. But the next step here is to uh, remove that global variables prefix by using um, edit replace text in all project resources. Be sure you're in the project tree and go to this edit replace text in all project resources. What I do first is to get rid of these retained prefixes. That's global variables, three underscores are and another underscore. So type that in here, replace it with nothing. You do want to check those fields. Be sure that you don't have match whole word only or match case. You just want to find this text in any of the variables. And this tool is kind of nice because you can use it even after you've programmed your HMI with these default names. You could still replace in all project resources and it would update them all. Okay, so we've got that set here and replace all. Yes to all. 23 of those see here under variables now there's nothing with that global variable underscore r but we still need global variables underscore we'll do the same thing here replace all and yes to all 88 of those guys okay i'll close this and just take a look at your real time db with your variables and they should all start with either g underscore or hmi underscore and that'll just make them a lot easier to work with so you can recognize the distinguishing part of the name as you're configuring the HMI buttons. The last step here says to apply the new names, which is not required for functionality. What's going on here is you see the old name is preserved and that's fine, but you can apply a new name here under the edit menu, apply renamed variables, edit, apply renamed variables and resources. And now when you click on here, it'll refresh and you'll just see the simple name that is currently in use. So that's the end of this mini lab. This is as far as we needed to get here and this one. You've got your MoveCon project with the PLCI driver and you've got those variables in your project without any prefix. You are ready to go. Thank you for watching this video and please go to www.yaskawa.com slash HMI for more information on Yaskawa's HMI products and Movicon HMI Editor.